I'm going to show you how to install the Value Factory Nardo Dragon K90 on your Nardo model. Please keep in mind that this is a paid asset, and if you have received it for free, please purchase it at teeth.trader.gay. Now, to go about this first, you're going to want to import the Unity package into your Unity project first, and then find the FBX. The way I do this is right-click and show and explore. This will open up the folder and select the FBX. This is the FBX that we're going to be wanting to merge with our Nardo. Now, before you do anything to your model, please make a backup. And the way I recommend doing that uh, is just to export the um, model of your Nardo. In my instance, I'm going to be using the five-finger version here, but you can also export the, uh, the four-finger version. But to just export the, the model and the scene uh, by, right, uh, by selecting them both, right-clicking, and then pressing Export Package. Uh, you don't have to include all these. You can uncheck include dependencies and just export these two. Uh, this is just to be safe in case something messes up during the uh, FBX export process or when the mesh merging. Um, so it's best to be safe here and make a backup. And in case everything does go wrong, you can just reimport that Unity package into your project and things will be good. To get started, uh, I'm going to be using uh, the blend file here with the Nardo. Uh, you can also uh, just import uh, the FBX of your Nardo by going to File, Import FBX, and uh, finding the FBX of your Nardo and importing it there. Uh, you also, if you do that, you're going to need to remove the camera cube and light from the scene here. Um, apart from that, uh, let's get started. So I'm just going to load up the, uh, the Nardo blend file here. We have our Nardo here. Now, the first thing to do is just to make sure that you have no blend shapes active. Uh, and you can do that over here on the sidebar, going to this little triangle over here and clicking this X here, which is going to clear our, all blend shapes to zero. So now we're going to want to uh, go into edit mode and remove the teeth of our Nardo. So I'm going to click on the Nardo, press Control tab and press edit mode. I'm going to uh, hover over one of these vertices on the snoot, press L and that's then press H to hide it. Now, we no longer have the Nardo body, which is good, so we can get the teeth now. I'm going to press L on the gum and the other gum, and press H, and now we have the teeth, and I'm also going to press L on the uh, tongue and H. Now we have the teeth very visible and uh, available for us to remove. So I'm going to start hovering over each one of the teeth and pressing L. Make sure you're only selecting the teeth like this. Make sure you're not selecting any of the fluff behind you. And if you do accidentally select the fluff, you can just press Control Z to undo the selection. So I'm going to select all the teeth here, and we're going to remove them. Okay. I'm going to press X and delete vertices. And it looks like I've missed a couple, so I'm just going to press L on those. X, delete vertices. Cool. We no longer have any teeth on our Nardo. Now, we're going to want to import the FBX of the teeth. And the way to do that is to go to File, Import, FBX. And then navigate to the location of where the FBX is uh, that you imported in the Unity package. So what I'm doing here is I'm copying the path from the folder that we opened up earlier and pasting it in here. And as you can see, we have the K9 teeth FBX here. So let's double click on that. And our K9 teeth will appear. And we've, uh, Blender has already exited us out of edit mode. And now we're back in object mode. And as you can see, the teeth have been correctly placed already. If your teeth aren't correctly placed here, if they're maybe like like floating somewhere up here or whatever, or maybe down here, um, it, that's because the scale of the avatar isn't matching the scale that the teeth were designed for. Uh, we're going to be going over that a little bit later on in the video where I try to make this work with the Nardine. Uh, so please uh, look for the timestamp in the video for that section right there. But for now, we're going to continue with the normal basic Nardo. The armature of the basic Nardo right now is hidden, so I'm going to press this I to show the armature. And you don't have to do this. Uh, I'm just going to quickly, as an example, show that if I move the jaw of the Nardo, as you can see, the teeth don't move with the jaw. And that's because the teeth haven't been merged into the mesh here, and we're going to need to do that. So the way we do that is uh, in object mode, we're going to select the armature of the teeth here, and we're just going to delete it. Just press delete. We don't need that at all. Next, we're going to click on the teeth and then control click on the body so that the body has a more brighter orange uh, color here than uh, the dark orange, the more reddish orange of the teeth here. 
And now we're going to have our mouse over the viewport and press Control J. And that'll merge the teeth into the body. And now, uh, just to verify that everything worked fine, select the armature, press Control Tab, select the bone, and just move it around. And if everything went right, the bone should be uh, uh, the uh, the bone should also the, or the jaw rather should also be moving um, the teeth, which is good. Now, of course, we don't want to have our Nardo have this weird jaw, so we're going to press A, right click, clear user transforms. Okay, I'm pressing Control Tab to go back into object mode, and now just as another test, I'm going to select the body, and I'm going to move some of these shape keys around. So let's set TH to one. Okay, teeth move. That's good. Let's set the odd one. Back to zero. Okay, good. So everything looks good. Uh, we've merged. We've now merged the uh, teeth into our Nardo. So now all that's left to do is to export the FBX. So the way I do this um, is I select all the objects that were in the FBX originally, which is the armature of the body. I then go to File, Export, FBX, and uh, you're going to want to navigate to where your uh, where the model's FBX is and overwrite that. Please make sure you have a backup first. Uh, before we do that, these settings are very important. So by default, the Nardo has pretty much all these settings that you have here. I also have selected objects on usually. That's a good idea because we have selected what we want to export. So we want to only export what we have selected. And so these transform scalings are the default for the Nardo. So these should look like this for you. Unless you know what you're doing, unless you have different uh, settings here. Um, and also another one is to make sure that you do not have add leaf bones set here. Uh, so we don't add extra bones that we don't need. Then we can press uh, export FBX. It may take a bit. There we go. And now, as you can see, we have an FBX here. I'm going to now overwrite my Unity Nardo FBX with that. And I can do that by just show an explorer. Then I'm going to go here, copy the FBX into this, get the name of this FBX that, that was originally there, delete it, and rename this FBX into that. You can just overwrite the original FBX uh, during the export process, but this is just how we do things. Then let's go back into Unity. Okay, and now if everything uh, is is uh, is is good, you should see you shouldn't see any problems in the uh, VRChat Builder uh, interface. There shouldn't be anything about. Uh, like non-humanoid uh, avatars or anything about uh, hips or like angles or anything like that. If, you, if you're having that, then something went wrong and you need to check your export settings. Check your scaling, check your leaf bones, uh, mess around with those, make sure to, to not have those errors. Uh, stuff like that is going to be different per person. Um, especially if you have already edited your Nardo uh, FBX. In that case, it's it's hard for me to help you. You're going to have to figure those settings out on your own, most likely. Um, but yeah, now we have our beautiful teeth here. Now, you actually might not see this teeth. Uh, that's because the teeth are on their own um, material here. Uh, and you might need to increase the size of this material count by one to be able to see the teeth, right? If we go back into our FBX and uh, Unity uh, Blender, you can see that we now have a new teeth material slot here. And so if you don't see your teeth right now, you're gonna wanna change this number. You're gonna want to increase this number by one and then assign a material to that extra slot that you've uh, now added. I'm going to Valley Factory, Nardoragon K9 Teeth. And I'm just going to drag... Oh, not that one. I'm going to drag the white teeth uh, material onto that. And now I'm going to move around some of the blend shapes just to make sure that everything works. Oh, looks like it works. And now, uh, you can also, while you're here, animate the teeth size, for example, to make the teeth a lot bigger. Well, let's, let's do an A to showcase the chompers. And we can increase the teeth size, for example. Yeah, and these are already ready to go with the uh, VRC face tracking um, prefabs here. So if you have VRC Fury installed, you can just drag one of these uh, prefabs onto your avatar, and VRC Fury will do its thing to make sure that surrounding face tracking works. Um, and uh, these are ready to go. That's about it for the normal one. 
Now, you might also run into a situation where on the normal Naruto model, like uh, my Naruto here, uh, the teeth don't quite line up. Like, they're sticking out here. That's not supposed to happen. Um, uh, that's because, for, for my in my instance, that's because I have the female all blend shapes uh, applied to the uh, mesh itself. And uh, to fix that, uh, what I would have to do is I would have to uh, also apply the female blend shape to the teeth, as you can see right there. And the way we can do that is we can use this feature called Apply Selected Shape Key to Basis. Uh, this is a CATS uh, Blender add-on uh, feature, however, so we have to install an add-on, and uh, you can get it. We're going to CATS Blender plugin. And if you're uh, if you're on Blender 3.5 or above, you're gonna want to go into this branches, going into development here, and then uh, download a zip like this. Then install that. By going into Edit Preferences, install, and then go to your Downloads folder and sort by date modified so it's easier. And then select the zip file, and it'll install it. And then once that's done. Uh, oh, yeah, once that's done, oh, sorry. you have to also enable it right here. So click this checkbox for it. I already have it installed, so I don't need to do it, but you need to click this checkbox. And then you can set the value of that to 1. Of course, I have to find the female blend shape first. So I have to find the female blend shape. Click this little arrow, apply select the shape key to basis, and it's going to create uh, uh, an undo shape key. And we could just delete that. We don't need that. And then we can just keep on, uh, we can just, you know, keep on going and merge the body and the teeth. As you can see, it works fine. So for the Nardine, I'm going to do something different here. Because if we go ahead and try to import the teeth, as you can see, they're kind of up there. And it's not what we want, so we're going to need to line them up. And the way we do that is by selecting the object here, pressing S and scaling. Now the scaling is going to need to happen from the origin point here, so make sure the origin point is all the way there at the very zero zero of the world. And we're just going to need to scale stuff. And uh, I have a Nardo here, that's some of my reference point. And what I'm going to do here is just pretty much zoom all the way into this canine that's sticking out and match the height of this little gap here, this little triangle. Just make it, make sure that the size of it matches the size of it here. So we're a bit too big for now, so I'm pressing S to scale things up. And I'm fully zoomed in, all the way in, zoomed in. And a little bit too big. Uh, a little bit more. The more pedantic you get here, the better results you're going to get, I th think. That's good. Okay. Once you've done that, uh, you can temporarily hide these. And then you just want to continue on as you were doing before with going into edit mode on the body, selecting the body, pressing H, s selecting the uh, uh, tongue, gums, pressing H, and just deleting the teeth. Quickly, quickly. Just delete vertices. Okay, now that that's done, we can go ahead and show the teeth again. Delete the armature of the teeth, click on the teeth, a control click on the body, and press control J. And now we can go into the body's uh volumes and shape keys here, and we can just you know test it out on an ah. Looks good. Uh if your teeth are like if if these front teeth are a little bit in or like kind of ducked in, then you probably need to do it again. Because uh, that's not how it's supposed to happen. Like this, this is what you want here. This is, this is the result that you want. Everything looks perfectly fine. Looks exactly on. Looks exactly how you want it to be on the Nardo here. Right. Looks good. We want those pretty choppers, right? There you go. So yeah, at this point, uh, you can export it. Same export settings, at least I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure you don't have any blend shapes on one when you export as well. And you should be good.